From the outside, you think this recently inaugurated SSB building in Bamopan has state-of-the-art features, but you'd be wrong. It was a bad design. It was a, a badly um, um, the, the the architect um, supposedly seems to make made a number of of um, or overlook a number of things that should have been in the in the design. Solicitation for a design of the building was done six years ago in 2016, and it was produced by Luis Alberto Ruiz, the husband of the current CEO of SSB, Deborah Ruiz, who, while the project did not begin under her leadership, now has to answer our questions. Uh, request for a design was done in 2016. Um, the company for that was LA Archit Architect and Associates, who coincidentally, the principal is my husband, Luis Alberto Ruiz. So he did the design in 2016. Um, the board the, at the time did not pursue until 2018. The, the board of directors at that time um, contracted out uh, for the building to be built. Back then, the CEO was Dr. Colin Young and the chairman of the board was Doug Singh. Both two have not answered our request for comment. I was acting, yes, during the um, 2020 when Dr. Young um, became chairman of the board. And at that time? The construction was well almost concluding. Uh -huh. CEO at that time was Dr. Colin Young That's and right. the chair was Doug Singh. That's this correct. And those decisions like that doesn't go through them? It goes through the board. It, it's a board decision as to how the investment. Mm -hmm. So you had a, a recommendation from the investment services department to do an investment billing. It goes through the same process as a loan, goes to the investment committee, and then it goes to the board. And then the board put in place a subcommittee of the board, um, which, uh, which is a building committee, and they are the ones who are were in direct um, liaison with the contract supervisor and provided feedback to the board as to what was happening on the ground and the board directed the project. Administratively, my staff handled all the payments and all of that. But in terms of the back and forth, there was a governance structure where we had a building committee in place. The building is flawed in many aspects, from the curtain glass windows to the roof and lateral stability of the entire building frame. My husband did not apply to be the architect at that point in time. So the project supervisor was one engineer, Mr. Robert Allen. Um, from there, they, they subcontracted out um, a tender and Mr. Fabro, Daniel Fabro from Fabro's Limited was awarded the contract. Since that time, um, um, from my understanding, because I, I was not in seat at the time, I, I came in seat in, um, as you know, officially last year. So what happened is that during the um, defects liability period, which is the period that the contractor has um, to maintain whatever services, um, the contract administrator had been reporting some deficiencies and that they were back and forth with the contractor. We had a new board who come on in play and they were asking questions in terms of why the um, the delays, the variation requests and all of these things and they felt that they were not getting satisfactory responses from the contract administrator. So his services were terminated and we brought in a new um, contract administrator through the services of um, Anthony Turton and Associates. And, and they did an independent assessment, um, contract two engineers to do that assessment, and they made recommendations uh, in terms to improve um, what they refer to as the lateral stability. Um, not that the building was going to collapse or anything, but, but because uh, we do have international clients in the building and we needed to have and give them assurances that they are safe. According to Riz, if a major storm hits Belize and by extension Bamopan, the building will not be able to withstand the impacts. We are talking probability of a major storm, uh, how the building would respond. So the engineers tested that and they felt that the, it was not um, up to par for a high level hurricane. So they needed to improve. Um, so that was put before the board along with the issues with heating of the glass. Um, and the board um, agreed with some of the recommendations put forward and they approve a supplemental budget to do the retrofit works. So that is where we are now. The original contract amount was between 6.2 to 6.4 million dollars but because of variation orders that amount increased to 8.4 million dollars by the time it was inaugurated in 2021 and now an estimated three million dollars is being allocated to retrofit the building to make it safe. As far as I know, the building was designed for where the Plaza Theater, uh, you know where the Plaza Theater was. That was the location of the original um, design. 
um, what happened between the design 2016 and when they went to construction. I'm not sure what was given to Mr. Fabro. I would need to do that as part of our audit exercise to find out what went wrong. And what went wrong years ago is now costing millions to fix. An audit will be done to determine what went wrong and who is to blame. When those works are done, it is the board's intention to do a full review to find out where the fault lies in the initial um, mistake perhaps by not having the original architect on board um, um, versus the contract administrator who was on board who was uh, uh, working with the contractor if the contractor was inexperienced all of those things we will have to review and find what went wrong with the project could this have been avoided i think it could have been avoided if we had our docs in a line in terms of um, what is the whole concept of the building and a contractor who has some experience and a, a, a supervisor who is able to interpret both the design the contract documents and coordinate all of that so obviously um there may have been a a flaw there that we need to find out what that is. Um, what I have um, given assurance is that as soon as we are completed with the building, which um, the the retrofit works should be finished by the end of September, and then we will start the process of a full review of what happened and find out um, who is responsible for what. If the board will take any avenues to recover, that, that decision will be determined by the board. Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.